I'm George God, Mercury Ambassador and host of the fishing show Unfathom. I'm going to talk to you today about properly securing your boat. Another situation you're going to find yourself in is tying to a fixed piling. So if this is not moving, obviously, a couple of considerations I have to have here when I'm tying to a piling like this is the height of the tidal movement. Uh, you kind of need to know in your area how much tidal movement you have, current, um, you know, boat wakes, what's going to affect the movement of that boat because you need to kind of account for that when we're tying it up. First and foremost, I need to secure this line to the piling. I'm going to start with the loop down on the cleat like before. I'm going to come around the piling once. I'm going to come around the piling again. I'm going to wrap up over that line like that. And then I'm going to secure this with two half hitches. What does that mean? I'm going to go over this line, pull, over the line again, come towards me, and pull. I have two half hitches that are going to secure this now. That's all I need to do to secure to a piling. Two half hitches, two wraps around the pole. If I'm gonna leave this boat here for a while, this is how I wanna leave it. I wanna leave a stern line uh, coming forward and then I have what here is called two spring lines. I have a line here and a line here. And what this in essence does is keep the boat from moving backwards and forward. Um, and then I have a bow line. And again, I'm gonna to have to take into consideration tides. In my area, I know I have about a foot and a half of tide, but what I like to do especially if I'm going to be leaving this boat here for a long period of time. The first day I'm going to come out here a couple times I'm going to check this. I'm going to make sure the movement of the boat's correct, make sure I have enough slack in the line to adjust for tides and adjust for currents. So whether you're leaving your boat for 10 minutes or 10 days, you want to make sure that you're securing it properly. Like we talked about, the first time you're going to leave it, go out and check it several times throughout the day. Let's account for tidal movement, um, for current, for wind. Um, you want to make sure that that boat is securely fastened and everything is safe. There's no damage to your boat when you get back.